This is Milky Way picture candy. I thought that you guys could fly. This guy is going to be a good picture. beginning exploration and started working in our compositions for tonight's Milky Way's night so we are here at real light this is a ghost town very cool look at this wagon this is Milky Way picture candy unfortunately now we it is fancy you know it has a fans I came here in 2016 or 17 and it was not fans. I understand, you know, vandalism. There's always someone um, willing to do stupid stuff, like getting inside the wagon, probably vandalize, probably do graffiti. But for those kind of people, I don't think that a fan is going to stop them. So, anyway, apparently the Milky Way is going to rise from there, like this way. So, it would be a tough composition because I don't know if it has to be here probably uh, probably I don't know it would be a good one actually uh, so let's see I'm gonna keep exploring this was my first you know target actually um, I came to this town with this guy in mind to do a uh, photograph with the Milky Way with, of this guy. So uh, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm going to explore that house over there, that little cabin. That could be also a good one. You have to be aware of snakes here because there is a sign that warns about rattlesnakes. So that's something to have in mind. You don't want to step into unknown territory <laughs> you know into around the bush i mean if we're going to be walking at night we want to make sure um, to see whatever space we're going to walk into Okay, so this cabin could, could be a, a good Milky Way picture because the Milky Way is going to be over there and you know, it is all clear I can I can work in a, my composition with certain freedom Let's explore a little bit inside Looks cool Let's get inside good for light painting also I can do some light painting from the inside so I think it's a good I'm not crazy about it you know it's just a cabin but it could be something cool I'm watching a vintage car abandoned over there that would be awesome but I don't know it seems to be inside private property so I'm going to explore that and in case there is someone there probably ask for permission otherwise there are all those abandoned buildings over there that uh, might be also a good composition let's see this is a you know, like an abandoned abandoned hotel casino or something like that yeah casino uh, real light ghost casino well, I don't like it because it's it's too big the building. I don't like to take pictures of big buildings like Milky Way pictures. 
I prefer small, smaller stuff. So I'm going to explore the abandoned buildings that all those ruins that they look so cool. But that sign kind of give me a little bit of chills. So we are here. Look at this. This is so cool. This building is amazing. Look at the shadows it projects. This is photographer's candy. Let's see. Okay, so apparently the Milky Way is going to rise over there, so we, we have to go on the other side, which is not that cool, but let's see. Exploring. Okay, so the Milky Way up. Apparently it's going to be like that and rising, so it would be a tough one because it would have to be from far away. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do some light painting. I don't know if the remote control has that range. Probably yes. Uh, it's a cool one doing drone light painting, but you know, it depends. I don't know if they're allowed, probably not, but you know, it depends. I don't want to bother anyone. Anyway, another possibility is to take it a little bit more towards there, towards the center, and later on when the Milky Way is going to be more vertical, which probably is going to be the case. If I started by the water basin, then I can hear more towards the end of the night. Probably that's that would be a cool one from here and with the Milky Way right in the middle that's a possibility yes why not the building looks so cool from the front but unfortunately it is going to be let's keep exploration Another possibility is from here, and probably the Milky Way is going to show up like that towards the end of the night. And probably it's going to be visible through the windows. Who knows? But you know, this one it's it's hard to guess because we have a big mountain there behind. Also, this is such a cool building, Cook Bank building. It was a bank actually. This building looks so cool. So, again, the Milky Way is going to rise like this. Whoop. So, probably towards the end of the night, it would be like that. There is also a, a mountain behind. So, yeah, probably it's going to be better to start a bad water basing. I can hear late at night for a couple of shots. This is probably an easiest option that the big growing building. HD and LD Porter. 1906. A lot of history. I wonder what's that.
this guy? What's your brother's store? It was just a store. Just a store. There is another building there. But we're going to explore. And this, also, these ruins. Let's see. Okay, these ruins, probably from this side, we will have a good Milky Way picture and we might be able to do some light painting from the inside which also adds to to the picture to the composition but again we have the Milky Way would look like this and we have that that mountain on the background so it, yeah it's probably definitely I'm going to come here after by water basing if I have that so I'm gonna I'm gonna explore that one okay for this building again it would have to be from far away a little bit further the Mickey way is going to be like this way probably probably i don't know somehow i'm not crazy about this composition even though the buildings are cool probably my favorite is the store the, the smallest one and the cabin and the wagon the wagon is going to be a tough one This guy is going to be a good picture. This guy is going to be a good picture. Towards the end of the night, the Milky Way is going to be like vertical over there. So from here, it's clear. I can work a good composition. So this could be a good picture. This cabin maybe, but I'm not crazy about photographing this cabin from here. I don't know, probably. Probably blow boat. Probably both, yes. And also, there is a, this cabin there. I'm not crazy about that one either. Another cabin, that looks better. But there is a, an, another abandoned car. Yeah! Look at this. I'm going to have to put the camera very, very low here. Probably, probably, probably would do it, and I'm very close to the subject, which it's a little bit tough for the focusing. Maybe I would have to refocus for the foreground pictures. Look at these wheels, this thing would do a good picture, actually the Milky Way towards the end of the night is gonna go right in the middle, of course if there's no parked cars behind, but this could be a good one towards the end of the night. Now there is 
a set of ghost sculptures there, like this guy here, riding a bicycle. The bicycle ghost. Um, those guys over there, they can make a good picture. There's a gentleman working, uh, working some, some pictures, so I don't want to disturb the guy. But those guys they would do a good picture but i'm going to be completely honest to me those sculptors they seem to be a little bit stupid <laughs> i don't know it's just my feeling about them but with during the night with the make away i don't know but well, the guy is doing light painting right now so i want to disturb them I thought that you guys could fly, but he needed a bicycle. Maybe it was his bicycle when he was alive. So look at this, guys. These are the ghost sculptures. And towards the end of the night, the Milky Way would be like that. So probably this could be a shot. It would be cool with the make away the ghost. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not crazy about the sculptors to me. A part of me like them. Some other part of me, probably the not nice part of me, believes that the sculptors are a little bit stupid. Or not a little bit stupid, but I don't know. Pointless, so maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I might take a picture of this because sometimes it's not whatever you believe. Sometimes it's what the public would think. And I think that the public would find it cool, a picture of this, guys. On a dark night and with some cool light painting and with the makeaway on the background. So this could be, could be an option. There was a nice gentleman taking pictures of those guys that's his tripod so we've been chatting for a little while so this is my last stop at the real light and right now i'm going to but water basing the start of the night i cheat a little bit i flew my drone <laughs> so you know that's all for you guys to enjoy the scenery Okay, let's head to the bad water basin. Bye guys, see you later. What's up everybody, we just arrived to Bad Water Basin and the sound is, is going down, as you can see, I don't even know if you're able to see my face, let's put it this way, and it looks kind of brown, so it looks a little bit ugly, but uh, we're going to do a, a little bit of exploration, and probably pick up my cam and everything, and probably we're going to stay right there because it was going to be a lot of walking so that's a parking lot over there and this is like the the Badwater Welcome Avenue <laughs> and to get a good shot you you have to walk a lot towards that direction and then you have to walk towards that direction and then find a spot and wait it would be a lot of waiting so i don't know if just 
pick up my camera and everything and just go there or just wait in the car until until the Milky Way shows up. Apparently it's going, what it says in the papers is that it's going to show up around 10 p.m. But I don't think it's going to be up there until 1 a.m. So if that's the case, it's going to be a lot of waiting and I don't think I'm going to be able to take shots here and on the ghost town. So I'm going to have to choose probably either but the water or realize that is a question to be or not to be it is warm it is hot but nothing that a middle eastern blood camel like me uh, can stand no problem i have plenty of water so everything is going to be fine Okay, so this is the museum for the ghost town. It's pretty amazing. And there is a gentleman over there, that's very nice. He's also an amazing photographer. I just bought one of his pieces because he's been photographing the ghost town for a while and he has amazing thunderbolt pictures with the ruins. Amazing, you're gonna see it.
just improvises. And just improvises. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so tell, tell us a little bit about that design.